Hi guys, Kimmy Fruits, your independent Scentsy consultant here. If you are a returning favorite, thanks for coming back to my channel. If you are new, thanks for stopping by to see what kind of news I have to share today in the Scentsy world. Today is bringing back my bar days. So if you are not familiar with Scentsy or if you're not familiar with bring back my bar, bring back my bar is a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous time. It happens twice a year. So right now it's currently happening for June next month. And then they had one in January. So January and June, they will bring back 25 user voted bars, fan favorites. So not just consultants, everyone and anyone can vote for these bars and they will bring 25 retired bars back out of retirement and you can purchase them for a full 30 days and add them to Scentsy Club. Best part. Best part, you can keep getting them forever and ever. Amen. So bring back my bar. I have the June 25 user voted fan favorites here that are coming back for next month, June 2022. So I am going to go in alphabetical order because I'm anal retensive like that and I just have to. <laughs> who's type A and who is with me? <laughs> so I'm um, going to go in alphabetical order. I will tell you what I think about the bar first. And then once I will, once I'm finished with my personal description, I will read to you what Cincy says about the bar. So I am super excited. I've had these bars for a couple of days. Um, I've just been waiting a little bit to my husband and my daughter and I have already smelled them. We smelled them the day I got them, which this past weekend was my 35th birthday. So we were celebrating um, down in Louisville, Kentucky, um, which is about 10 minutes from where we moved from in Indiana down there. So we were visiting with my mom and dad and my brother. Uh, my daughter also had her pre-K graduation uh, the, the Friday before my birthday. So it was a really awesome weekend. And I just kind of wanted to soak up the moment for a little bit. So we did smell these bars on Sunday, the day we got back home and the day I got them delivered. But I am ready to sniff them out with you guys. So I have a little bit of coffee here because it's just after 8 a.m. my time here on uh, Eastern Time. And I have 25 bars and we're going to go ahead and get started. So if you're not familiar with me, you know, I love to talk wax. So this is probably going to be a little bit of a long video, 45 minutes to an hour. I'm going to try to keep it as, as brief as possible. But when I get started, I get started. So grab you a drink, grab you a snack, get you some coffee, what have you. <clears throat> it's in the evening, get you some wine, whatever is best for you. Go ahead and get it and have it ready. So let's settle in. First bar we are going to discuss is Bamboo and Yuzu. So it is a green bar. And sorry about the lighting. Yes, I know it's like kind of atrocious, but it also is like super overcast today and it's not going to get any better. So I was like, whatever, let's just film. <laughs> so back to Bamboo Yuzu. I was kind of excited about this. I'm like, oh, it sounds like a nice scent. But also when I see the word yuzu, I get a little scared because most of the ute scents that I've smelled with yuzu in it kind of remind me of cat pee. So, of course, I get a text from my husband, and it's about our daughter's school for next week because she's starting summer program. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Sorry about that. So I don't hate this bar. <laughs> so I'll purchase with that. I don't hate it. Um, I definitely feel like the top of the bar smells different than the bottom of the bar. So if you're not familiar with the bottom of the bar is normally what you're going to get when you melt it because all of the oils and fragrance have kind of settled to the bottom. Okay. So when you smell the top, you're only getting kind of like I don't want to say watered down, but you're not getting the true smell and scent. So I always, always take the bar out 
and you can smell the clamshell or smell the bottom of the bar and that will give you a better sense of what the fragrance is truly going to be. So when I smell the, the, the top of the bar, I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. I smell the bottom of the bar. I'm like, mm, there's something off in this. I don't know what it is. I'm still going to warm it and try it. Um, it's a very green and fresh scent. More emphasis on fresh than green. I think that's why I'm a little disappointed because I kind of wanted it to be a more like woodier, more greener, more green. If I could speak correctly. Um, it's just definitely more fresh. It kind of, I have like a laundry dryer sheet vibe. And then you get like a, a, a planty greenness. So the notes that Cincy says... Dewy bamboo, tranquil lotus flower, and fresh yuzu with hints of sage. Sage? I mean, I, I, I guess I could get kind of, I don't think sage is really in here. Like maybe like that tiny, tiny bit of like a masculine touch is that sage. But it honestly just smells like a fresh dryer sheet. And I don't get cat pee. So there's that. So no cat pee. Woohoo! But um, bamboo yuzu, if you like clean scents or fresh scents, that, that would probably be one you should look into. Alrighty. Already need some coffee here. Excuse me. They say coffee clears the palate. Um, I think it, it kind of is a little too much. Normally to clear my palate, I just smell right here in the inside of my elbow or my shirt works for me and I don't have to have anything extra. So next we have, what do we have blonde wood and moon flower. I've had this bar before. Um, I think honestly, this was one of, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I keep getting messages. I'm going to mute that. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but blonde, blonde wood and moon flower. I've had this before. I want to say this is Kind of one of the first bars I've ever, one of the first bring back my bars I've ever tried. Um, I thought by the notes that I would really like it for some reason when I first tried it. It's okay. Um, I don't hate it. I'm not a fan. I'm not a big fan of it. It smells like, um, so remember that. I want to say the store was called Bayside. It was some store in a local mall. It was called Bayside. It was like Kirkland's. Okay, so picture Kirkland's. And those little potpourri pouches. You know what I'm talking about. The paper ones that you shake them up. And, ooh, this is supposed to make my, what we had in the 90s. It's supposed to make my space smell nice. That's what this reminds me of. All the all the potpourri in the, in the package vibes with this. So heavy, heavy, like perfumey, wood, woody vibe. Like it's a, you know how you can, <coughs> oh my goodness, I got it like right in my nose. Woo. So you get like that blonde wood. So it's kind of like a slight twinge of masculine, but it's not, you get more of like a perfumey floral. It just reminds me of those straight up potpourri packages. It's exactly the kind of scent you would find in one of those. So it, it honestly, and then it makes me gravitate more towards like an older person, a more mature, it's a more mature fragrance. So I definitely think of an older, more mature person who would enjoy this. So a blonde wood and moonflower. Let's see, pale warm wood and amber envelop demure moonflower, delicate white roses and upturned lilies in a modern magical fragrance. Good Lord, that's that's a lot. <laughs> so that's a pretty huge description. Um, I feel like it's all true. I don't get rose in this at all. It says white roses. I don't know if white roses and like other roses are supposed to smell different, but I don't get a rose fragrance from this at all. I do get a definite like perfumey floral. Uh, probably more of that lily, but you do get like the pale wood and amber. Like I thought I would really love this because I read pale wood and amber. I'm like, oh, those are like two of kind of my favorite fragrances. No. So if you like more um, kind of like perfumey florals, 
mature scents, blonde wood and moonflower would be for you. Um, next we have Berry of Paradise. This was in the catalog when I started in 2019 and I think it retired that that year, like 2018, 2019. Um, I'm sorry, this fragrance is disgusting. Ugh. I did not like it then. My tastes have not changed and I do not like it now. Oh my God. It's just, you would think a berry of paradise. Oh my God, that's gonna be so refreshing and nice and mm, not to me. Okay, this reminds me of, and then I'm actually gonna get the bottom of it to see it's gonna smell a little different. Oh Lord, it's even worse. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really know what I was expecting. I mean, I did, but I didn't, but oh my God. Whew. Okay. So you get berry, you get vanilla. It reminds me, so you know the orange and the strawberry like cream savers? <clears throat> That's what this smells like, but a, but a berry version. It's extremely cloying, extremely sweet, berry vanilla cream saver. That's what I get. And it, it's just way too much for me. <clears throat> and there's an off note in here. Like I, most berry fragrances I like. Um, I don't know what, it, maybe it's like something in the vanilla or the cream part that kind of makes it sour. Um, but what Sensi says is scrumptious sugared strawberry, bird of paradise and vanilla bean. There's something in this that makes it sour. And I think it's like that creamy vibe that they're trying to go for. Um, mm, mm, no, I can't, I can't do it. So that's Berry of Paradise. So if you liked, uh, I want to say it was like Strawberry Swirl or something that just came back uh, back in January that was like the the Strawberry Cream Saver. You're going to love this because it smells like a berry cream saver. So that's ber uh, Berry of Paradise. <clears throat> Next we have Blackberry Orange Marmalade. I love the purple on that. That's really pretty. So... This is super strong. Like you open the clamshell and you're like hit with it, which you know, if you've been following me, I love scents that smack you right in the face. So that's promising. Um, I like this. Shoo. Um, it's very concentrated and very strong. So I'm excited to warm it because I feel like it'll be a really good performer. You get blackberry, you get a tiny touch of citrus, like that orange citrus. It's not a citrus scent by any means. It's more berry, more blackberry, kind of darker, um, the dark berry, not like the fresh berry. <clears throat> it doesn't have that freshness vibe. It's like a dark, sweetened, kind of rendered down blackberry. Get a tiny touch of like the orange zest, like the orange rind at the end. Very little bit. Super sweet. It smells like a delicious like blackberry marmalade jam. I mean, it, it smells amazing. So um, I'm on the fence about it because I want to see how strong it is when it warms. And I want to see if it kind of changes a little bit. It's not as um, dark more sweet. So that is blackberry orange marmalade. So this is in my I need to warm pile. <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Next, we have blueberry pancakes. And this actually retired. This was in the catalog. Uh, right before I became a consultant, it was in the fall winter 2018 catalog. That's when I first discovered Cincy. This was in the catalog then, and I really enjoyed it. I did not add it to club though. Um, not sure if I'm going to now. I might. 
So it's really nice. It is smells just like its name. Smells like blueberry pancakes. So if you um, are familiar with Bath and Body Works candle blueberry maple pancakes, it's very very similar. It's not quite a dupe, but it's almost okay. It's almost. I get a little bit more cinnamon in this than the blueberry maple pancakes. I don't think there's any cinnamon really in that. So you get blueberry and it's weird because I don't remember I have a bar. I have an old bar of this that I purchased when it retired and I need to compare them side by side because I feel like there's more cinnamon in this. So it's not cinnamon heavy by any means, but you definitely notice it on cold. I'm not sure about warming it. I will let you know. Um, but you get blueberry, you get like that baked, fluffy, delicious pancake with like some maple syrup and a little bit of cinnamon. It smells divine, you guys. Um, I might have to put that in a club. I uh, really enjoy it. I'll see how it uh, it melts uh, this time around, but that is blueberry pancakes. All right, next we have, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna say this quite a bit in this one. I don't know, there was a lot, so there was a lot of bars this round that I had never smelled. So it was all new to me. And unfortunately, I don't feel like most of them are kind of in my wheelhouse. So you're going to hear me say, oh, that's not my favorite. I don't really like it. That is not saying there's anything wrong with these bars. There is nothing wrong with these bars. They just aren't my preferences. So just because I say that I dislike it or it's not for me, it doesn't mean it's not for you. So Take my thoughts with a grain of salt. I'm just here to tell you my opinion and what I think of them and describe to you the fragrance as best as I can. <clears throat> so with that disclaimer, we have <laughs> Buckleberry. And I've had Buckleberry before. I actually got it in a clearance or flash sale a couple years ago. I thought by the description, I'm, I'm going to like this. It's going to smell nice. I even melted a bar. No, I don't, I don't like it. Oh my Lord. <clears throat> so it smells, it's very strong, very strong. It's very strong when you open it. It's very strong when you warm it. So if you like really strong scents, you have an open concept, you want something that's going to fill it, this will fill it for real. Um, it, it, it's a berry scent, but I don't, Number one, I don't even know if a buckleberry is a real thing. If it is, I don't know what it smells like. So, sorry for that. It just reminds me of like a fall berry scent. And, and it's not like fall spices per se, but just like, there's an odd berry note, okay? There's an odd note in the background that I am not a fan of. And when it's warming, it comes out even more. So it, let me read you what Sensi says, and then I'll kind of tell you more about that. So Buckleberry, a bite of summer bounty, bursting fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. Okay, hey, doesn't that sound delicious? That sounds amazing. I don't get that. <laughs> so they say bursting uh, summer fresh berries. No, this doesn't smell fresh in any kind of way to me. It smells like dark rendered berries, kind of like I was talking about the blackberry marmalade. They smell cooked down. They smell warm. They don't smell fresh or light or fruity in any kind. I mean, yes, fruity, but it, it smells very syrupy. And then like that, that coffee cake, it it's, gives me like a bitter smell and I just can't do it. It smells sour and bitter to me. And I don't get summer berry. This smells, this definitely smells like a fall scent to me. And I was kind of shocked it came back in this one because I don't want to warm fall scents right now. It, I mean, it's not like the warmest day today. It's going to be like in the seventies, but still I'm not pulling for a fall bar when it's in the seventies. I mean, for you all that, that aren't seasonal melters, I, I get it. Um, that's not me though. So I'm not going to pull for this if I liked it until like September, you know, 
Yeah, I, I can't do that. Um, I get sour and bitter. Um, definitely sweet, rendered down berries. There's no like distinct one that sticks out. So berries, and then you get like kind of this, there's not a cakey vibe, but you get kind of like this spiciness that's like supposed to be a baked good. So do you like kind of the falls bakeries? Um, Buckleberry might be for you. I, breakfast in bed kind of popped up. They're, they're kind of in the same vein. Um, I definitely enjoy breakfast in bed more than this, but breakfast in bed and buckleberry both very intense. So buckleberry, <clears throat> Whew. let's get a drink of coffee and clear my palate on that one because good Lord, that bar is very strong. Very, 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 very strong. Okay. Next we have caramel vanilla delight. So if you've been following me at all, you know, I am not a fan of caramel scents. They are not for me. It's just too much, too cloying, too sweet. So I'm not a big fan of this, but this was available. I have smelled it before. It was in the catalog uh, before, uh, right when I started, and I think it retired in the spring, summer season. It retired in the fall, winter of 2018, I believe. So I did get to smell it and try it. It's intense. So if you like sweet, if you like caramel, you're gonna like, like, you're gonna enjoy this. So it's like a caramel drizzle on top of like vanilla bean buttercream. It's exactly what this smells like. So you get extremely sweet, extremely caramel, extreme vanilla. Um, it's it's a nice bar. I mean, like if, if you're into like sweet and bakery, this is a really nice bar. Um, I definitely suggest it, but I am not a caramel person, so it does not work for me, but I feel like this would be a really nice mixer because it's it's caramel and vanilla. So if you had like coffee tree or cinnamon spice vanilla or, you know, the happy birthday, I think this would be a great compliment for that. You have to like super sweet scents, you have to like bakery and you have to like caramel. So if you like those, this would be right up your alley. Caramel vanilla delight. Alrighty. Since he says about that bar, real quick. Vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and a splash of white rum. Um, I do not get any boozy notes at all, so do not let that white rum scare you. There is no booze notes in that whatsoever. It's just sweet caramel vanilla. So next we have coconut vanilla orchid. So this was actually a bar I had never tried before. I was super excited to smell this one. It's just, the, I love coconut, vanilla, orchid is nice, floral to me. I was very excited. This bar smells good, but you can barely smell this bar. Like it, it's so ridiculously light. Like I can barely smell it. it and what I can smell smells nice. So, I mean, I need to warm it, obviously, but you get like that tiny bit of powdery orchid and then that like vanilla, not the bakery vanilla, but like that floral kind of vanilla and simply vanilla. And I'm not sure I really even get coconut because I can barely smell the bar. So this was a huge disappointment. Um, I really hope uh, on warm that I can smell a little bit more of the bar, but as it stands right now, just on cold sniff, I would not buy any more of this. Um, even though I like the fragrance, I just feel like it's going to be so light. You're, you're not even going to be able to smell it. Like I literally have to set my nose right on top of it. So, I mean, you get a light powdery floral and then you get like this this hint of like floral vanilla and it's a really nice scent but like I said can't smell it I really can't smell this so sadly coconut vanilla orchid is scentless almost so unfortunately so since he says about that bar 
Alluring orange zest, coconut milk, and silky vanilla orchid. There is no orange, okay? No orange at all because orange is a strong scent. You would smell it. I, I don't smell orange in that at all. Coconut milk and vanilla orchid, yes. So that's that's what's mixed together. It's like a, a creaminess. You don't get like that meaty coconut smell. It's a creaminess and then a, a light uh, vanilla floral. It's really nice, but you like. So next we have cotton candy cookie. I have had this before. So it actually came back in the Easter collection in 2020, I believe. And I think I had it in club for like a month or two and I took it out. I really, really like this. It's a really nice scent. You get cotton candy, sweetness. I mean, it just makes you think of the puffy, gooey, pink, blue stick of cotton candy. Then you get like this tiny, tiny little bit of like vanilla musk. And this like a little tiny bit of like a, a sugar cookie. It smells so good, you guys. So if you're into like cotton candy smells or sweet smells, you're really going to like this. Um, I do believe as much as I enjoy it, the reason I took this out of my club is because I have two cents for sure, if, uh, three cents that kind of are like in the same vein as this. So I have candy crave, I have sugar, and I have pink haze in my club that are all really similar to this. So if you like any of the ones I just described or just said, you're going to love this cotton candy cookie. So I, I might put it back in my club because this this doesn't come around very much. Um, honestly, I, I didn't ever smell it um, until 2020. And I liked it then. I still enjoy it. Um, I, I have like two bars actually over here that I purchased or got in club or something. And they they're like happy. So I need to warm those again and see if I want to put it in club. I have 30 days to decide if I do. So it is really nice. So if you like the scents Candy Crave, you like the scent Sugar, you like Pink Haze, you are really going to like Cotton Candy Cookie. It's, it's a really nice one, you guys. So next on our list, we have Cutie Pie Cupcake. This one is awesome. Oh, oops. I didn't read you. Sorry. Let me go back and read you what Scentsy says about uh, Cotton Candy Cookie. It's extremely long. Little hands clutching cotton candy and cookies, while gooey treats topped with sugared raspberries beg to be tasted. Lord. Um, yes, all, everything they describe in there is kind of what you smell. I don't really get raspberries or like a berry in cotton candy cookie. It's just a beautiful, sweet cotton candy with a little hint of like a sugar cookie in it. So back to Cutie Pie Cupcake. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one's so good. I've had it before. Um, I don't really know why I didn't add its club. I really like it. Um, so I, I think I'm going to this time. It's delicious. So you get a sweet lemon pound cake cupcake. It's, it's so good. You guys, um, you could smell like the frosting on it. Delicious. So when I think of this, I think of like the, the lemon pound cake from Starbucks. That's exactly what it smells like to me. Oh my God. It smells so good. I absolutely love this. So if you like that lemon drizzle cake that we had in the Easter collection, um, you're definitely gonna like this. And also if you like the current catalog scent Clementine cupcake, you're really going to love this. I like Clementine cupcake on cold. I've not warmed it. I've heard on warm from some people, it's kind of weak. So that's sad because it smells really nice on cold. Personally, I cannot say, but this cutie pie cupcake performs really well. On cold, it smells amazing. Warm, it smells even better. So if you like lemon pound cake or lemon cupcakes, you gotta give cutie pie cupcake a try. It's, it's really good, you guys. Love that one. So that is gonna go in my club for sure. 
I'm really picky about my bakery scents, so when I find one that I really enjoy, I definitely got to put it in my club. So, what Scentsy says about Cutie Pie Cupcakes, sweet clementine and yellow cake batter with vanilla and sugary icing. Um, I get more of a lemon than a clementine smell, but exactly everything else, yes. So, really nice. Next, we have Enchanted Mist. I've never smelled this before, so I was pretty interested just by the name. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. So I'm definitely, I need to warm it and see what I think. Um, on cold, I'm intrigued. I definitely want to warm it and see what it smells like warming. I get a Plumeria vibe if you've smelled Scentsy's. Plumeria bar, which I, I really like. I actually had it in my club for a while. Kind of sad I took it out, but I get a little bit of Plumeria. I get like a banana leaf. And then it just kind of smells like a, a sweet, a sweetness, like a, a sugar cane kind of smell. And then, like, in the very back note, I feel like I get, like, almost a sun of, like, a fruity sunscreen vibe. So, it kind of reminds me of the beach a little bit. So, not as intense as, like, Rio Beach, like, sunscreen vibes, but, like, kind of smells like a floral berry sunscreen. And then you get like a banana leaf type smell. It's, it's, it's really interesting and intriguing on cold. I'm going to have to warm that to see what I think of that. But since he says about enchanted mist, romantic blend of juicy apples enhanced and sweetened by rose petals and rich jasmine. I don't get rose. No. So I don't get any rose at all. So if rose scares you away, there's no rose in this. I definitely get like that white creamy jasmine. So that's the white floral I'm smelling. And I don't get apple really either. It just smells like a light fruity note. It's it's nice on cold. So I'm definitely going to have to warm it and see what parts come out. So that's Enchanted Mist. <clears throat> Ooh, clear my palate there. So next we have Flower Child. And I have never smelled this before either. So I was pretty excited about this. I really like this. So I, I'm i really picky with all of my scents. So it has to be like 100% up the snuff to me for it to even like be warmed. <laughs> I'm really picky, but this is a floral I can definitely get behind. Um, I feel like as I get older, like I enjoy florals more, um, which is kind of weird because I used to like really hate florals, but they do have to be like kind of sweeter. This smells so good. So I definitely get, it's definitely perfumey. You get floral. But then it's kind of sweet. It kind of reminds me of peony. And just like, it reminds me of hippies in the 70s and happy vibes and just good times. And I just get like this good vibes when I smell this. And it just reminds me of like flower crowns and flower fields. And I just get really happy when I smell this bar. It's really nice. And also it is raining. So if you hear that. Um, Scentsy says, flower child, sweet red berries layered over wild gardenia and sandalwood. Okay. This sandalwood, that's what it is, you guys. So normally sandalwood. So I'm really extremely picky about sandalwood. Because most of the time it smells dirty to me. It's It makes this bar. So it gives it like the grounding, sensual, like creaminess that it needs. And then you've got like that sweet berry note. It, this is just, this is amazing. I'm really excited. And it smells pretty strong on cold. So I'm pretty excited to see what Flower Child does warming. If it does well warming, this is definitely going into my club. I, I really like that Flower Child. Give me all the hippie happy vibes right now because everybody can use them. 
So next we have Forever Yours. I've never smelled this either. So let's, before I got my kid, I've never smelled it. So this is a floral I'm not as excited about. Um, it's definitely floral. It's definitely more kind of powdery than Flower Child. Flower Child's definitely got like a sweetness that this is kind of missing for me. It smells like white floral, kind of powdery, um, dare I say a little granny. Um, those are the florals I just really can't do when they are just too powdery, too perfumey, a little too overwhelming. They are a little too grainy for me. It's not like super ridiculously like, oh my God, knock yourself out, but it's definitely a powdery floral. So forever yours, sweet, creamy, lemon, enchanting jasmine, and a rhapsody of devotion. It's definitely, I can get that tiny hint of lemon now that I read that. So there's like a tiny bit. It's, it's nothing strong. Okay. It doesn't smell like lemon pledge. You're like, if you didn't know lemon was in the notes, you probably wouldn't even notice it. It's so subtle. But you do get that tiny bit of lemon and then it's just like a powdery, creamy jasmine, white floral, gardenia. So if you're more into the powdery florals instead of the sweet florals, forever yours would be a good choice for you. It's really coming down now with the rain. Ugh. I'm pretty sick of rain, you guys. Like I know in August I'm going to be like, man, where's the rain? Because it gets super hot here and humid and dry, but... Good Lord, I feel like it's been raining for two months straight. And people are like, well, it's spring, Kimmy. It's going to rain. Well, I'm really tired of it. <laughs> so let's just stop. Just, just a little bit of rain, okay? Not as much as we've been getting. Um, I digress. Next, we have French Toast. And um, I have been excited for this. I voted for this on a previous Bring Back My Bar and I've wanted this to come back for a while. I've never smelled it before. Um, it smells really good, okay? It smells like the name implies. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was expecting more. Like, I guess, like, I hyped this bar so much up in my head that I'm like, oh, my God, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. Like, and I just expected more than what I'm getting. Because I mostly get cinnamon, and I know French toast is, you know kind of cinnamon heavy, but I wanted that toasted bread smell. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like when you have French, French toast is my favorite breakfast. It is literally most of the time if I go to a restaurant and I'm getting breakfast, I'm getting French toast. It is my favorite breakfast. And I like that like cooked bread smell. And I, like, I don't really know how else to describe it other than that, but you get like that cooked bread smell and that warm vanilla and just a creamy sweetness with a little maple syrup and maybe a tiny touch of cinnamon. This is pretty cinnamon heavy. So if you like cinnamon, you're going to enjoy this. If you like baked goods with cinnamon, you're going to enjoy it. I just wanted it to be a little more, um, I'm, I'm still going to warm it and enjoy it and see how I feel about it on warm. Maybe it'll change a little bit, but um, I definitely feel like it's a little cinnamon heavy. So I'm kind of sad about that. I just wanted, just wanted more. So I love the artwork on this though. It's really cute. If I can't see it, I might, there we go. Look at the little toast with the beret and the mustache. So cute. But that is French toast, you guys. Since he says about French toast. A perfect light slice of bread dumped in golden egg batter, dusted with powdered sugar, and finished with a swirl of sweet maple syrup. Wow. There's literally cinnamons not even in the notes, and that's what I like the most, the biggest note I get when I smell it. So definitely has cinnamon in it if you are allergic to cinnamon or if it gives you, triggers you in any way, there is cinnamon in that. So <clears throat> next bar we have is inner peace <clears throat> nice blue white wax this is really nice um it reminds me of a spa 
So literally open the clam. It's very strong. It's very clean. I get lemongrass immediately and the, like the same lemongrass note that's in coconut lemongrass. It, it's, it's fresh. Lemongrass. Spa vibes. So if you're into like spa scents, calming scents, fresh, um, lemongrass, herbal scents, you'll love this. So this is like a perfect bathroom scent, like a yoga room, a relaxation scent. Um, it's really strong though. So I would definitely suggest um, not doing as many cubes if you do a lot because it's really, 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 really strong. So inner peace. Earthy wood notes with the unmistakable scent of lemon, grove, and rejuvenating cypress. I don't really get woody. I mean, the cypress, I can see that, that little kind of like green earthiness, but like I don't really get woods. It just smells like straight up lemongrass, a little freshness, and that little like tiny bit of like green cypress. It smells really nice. Um, if you're into like the spa fresh scents, you would love it. Like I said, it smells really strong in your piece. <clears throat> Next, we have lemon coconut chiffon. Um, I was super excited to smell this. I have not smelled it. I've heard really awesome things about it. And I'm happy to report it smells freaking amazing. Oh my God, I love it. So you get like a lemon curd smell. Lemon curd and you get like that creamy coconut sweetness. Oh my gosh. It smells just like lemon curd mixed with creamy coconut milk with a sweetness. I could eat this all day. It smells so good. This is for real going into my club. Um, I'm obsessed. Obviously, I haven't warmed it yet, but unless it's a complete dud, it's not going. It'll be in my club. So melt in your mouth. Lemon custard layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. Oh, my Lord, you guys. You even get like that little bit of a cake note in it, too. It smells like a lemon curd coconut dump cake. Oh my God. So if you like lemon, if you like bakery, you're going to love it. So that is lemon coconut chiffon. Really good. You guys love that one. <clears throat> Next we have love and happiness. I've had this bar before. It was in the same set of bars that retired in the fall winter of 2018 was not, um, I like the notes or something that I should like, like I kind of like all of those things in the notes of this bar, but it is, I don't like it. Mm. Well. <laughs> it makes me cough, like, I, I don't like this, like, mm -mm -mm. it smells, okay, like when you first initially smell the front of it, it smells like baby powder. Okay. Like a, like a perfumey baby powder. Then you smell the bottom and I get like alcohol, like, oh my Lord. It smells like a sweet, perfumey, baby powdery alcohol. Oh my Lord. No, I, I can't do it. And it smells so strong on the bottom where those oils have been sitting. Sweet, perfumey, baby powdery alcohol. Oh my lord. So let me read, read to you what it should smell like. <laughs> Love and happiness, blaze chestnut, vanilla, and sugar cane will immerse your senses in pure joy. I love vanilla. I love chestnut. I like sugar cane. Don't like this. this is there is something off about this? Oh my. It, it smells hardcore like alcohol. I don't know if it, I, I don't know if it's just this bar. Um, I don't 
remember it smelling like this back back in 2018, 2019. Obviously, it's been a while. I don't have a bar of it because I wasn't a fan of it then. It, it's just a little too much for me, personally. Um, I do know some people who really like this. And obviously, a lot of people like it because they voted it back. But I'm, you're one of those people. I'm happy for you. But this is not for me. Love and happiness. Ooh. Strong, too. Wow. <clears throat> Next, we have a love you very much. How cute. I like this. Um, it reminds me of something. So when I was a kid, my mom would let me pick out like little tiny like the Yankee Candle tarts and stuff. And that's kind of how I started on my home fragrance journey. This reminds me of one of those that I would smell. And I'm not really sure which one it was. But you just get a fresh mix of berries. It, it just kind of reminds me of like a fruity drink or a smoothie. Fresh berries. Sweetness. Like no berry in particular is sticking out. It's just like a medley of fresh berries with a sweetness. I remember we were smelling these when when I, when I got the package on, on Sunday and my husband and I and my brother and his girlfriend went to a drag show for my birthday the night before. And he's like, oh, it smells like the drink I was drinking last night. That's gross. Uh, he drank a little too much. So he wasn't really feeling the best Sunday. So it smells like the drink I had last night. Which I can understand, it kind of smells like a fruity cocktail, but also it could kind of smell like a fruity smoothie. And there's no booze note in it, so don't think that, but I, I just had to crack up on that. I thought that was funny. So, love you very much. Bursting red berries, dreamy white peach, and tart cranberry finished with a splash of vanilla. You do get a cranberry note. So, if you like cranberry, this is, this is good. So, you do get that tart cranberry, berry sweetness, tart cranberry creaminess from vanilla. It's nice. I, I really like that. So hopefully um, on warm it's nice, but love you very much. That one is a good one. So next we have, let me move these down just a little bit. We're on our last set, you guys. Thanks for hanging in. I know it's been a, a long video, but with 25 cents that I have to talk about, it's going to be kind of long. So my only sunshine. I feel like I've had this Four, but I don't know. So I would have to go back and look at the bars that came back while I've been a consultant. Um, but I honestly couldn't remember if I've had this or not. I really like it. Um, it's a powdery floral. But you get a sweetness with it, so it, it tones down the grainy vibes. But it's just like an uplifting, fresh, powdery floral with like a tiny hint of like a citrus. It's really fun and uplifting. Uplifting is like the best word I can think of to describe it. it it's uplifting and fresh. So my only sunshine. Golden tuberose and jasmine balanced by sandalwood, vanilla, and glowing amber. I don't know where I get the citrus from, but... It's got like a tiny bit of a freshness to it. So I don't know what that is, but the sandalwood, vanilla, and amber, just they give it like kind of that musky vibe. And then you have like a little bit of powdery floral and then you get like an uplifting citrus smell. It's really nice. Um, I, th I definitely think this would be a nice like bathroom scent, a laundry room scent, um, just something to be uplifting, um, even a spa, honestly. So my only sunshine, that one is super nice. I, I'm excited to warm that. <clears throat> Next we have a pineapple coconut vanilla. I am not a fan of this. Um, I've not ever really been a fan of this. Um, pineapple is really hit or miss for me in home fragrance. I'm not usually a fan of it, um, either because it's too sour or it smells weird. Um, 
there is just something so weird about this scent to me. I know a lot of people really like this. I'm pretty sure it's still in the body care line right now. Um, but they had it in the bar. I'm pretty sure it was the same time period that most of these have retired, which was like that. It's either 2018 or 2019. I just don't like this. Um, it's got a weird body care smell. <clears throat> the bottom of the bar smells better. But I mean, you get like vanilla and like the coconut and the pineapple aren't distinct. Like if I didn't know this, that's what the notes were, I probably wouldn't guess that. Because it's not like you really get those. It just smells like an awkward, creamy, fruity smell with like a musky body care note. And I just, I can't get behind it. Um, it's got too much of that weird, like musky body care smell that I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I know a lot of people really do enjoy this. So I'm really happy it came back for you. But pineapple, coconut, vanilla is not one for me. Uh, what Cincy says about it. Ride the wind alongside coconut, pineapple, and blushing. And blush. Pineapple blush and blue fig. So maybe it's that fig note. I mean, normally I like fig because French kiss smells like the brown sugar and fig from BBW. But I don't know what it is in that. It's, just, it's got a weird musky body care scent that I don't enjoy. So that is pineapple, coconut, vanilla. <clears throat> I love the artwork on this one. It's really cute. Root beer float. Um, I'm not, I don't like root beer floats. Um, I'm really weird. I don't really like ice cream. Um, I think the reasoning behind that is when I was young, growing up, every time I would be at my grandparents' house, our dessert was literally ice cream, like every single time. So I just, I think I got really burnt on ice cream. I just, I really don't eat it that much. Um, my daughter loves ice cream, so it's weird. She's weird. I don't know how we're like the same DNA. <clears throat> anyway, I digress. Um, it literally smells just like the name. Like I have no idea how they do this bar. It's like so authentic. It smells just like a creamy root beer float like it's wild you even kind of get like that effervescence kind of feel when you smell it oh my god it's so <laughs> strong you guys sarsaparilla root beer at its finest then you get like the creaminess of the ice cream it, it is strong it is root beer it is creamy and sweet and vanilla and if you enjoy root beer you're gonna freaking love this so root beer barrel I've had before, which literally just smells like straight up root beer. It didn't really have any sweetness or creaminess to it. This is definitely a better version because it's got like a sweet vanilla flavor or scent. Um, but I still, this isn't something I'm going to reach for and warm, but it's definitely very authentic. So if you like root beer, root beer float, definitely authentic and give it a try. So since he says about it, concoction of old fashioned root beer and creamy vanilla ice cream, 100%. So next we have simply irresistible. Ooh, root beer made my nose itch. Uh, um, <clears throat> ooh, if you like the masculine scents, the manly cologne, this one is for you. I am not a cologne scent fan at all. Um, I rarely enjoy them. There are a handful, very few, that I do enjoy. This is not one of them. I definitely, it smells like bergamot. It's definitely the first note I get. Then you get kind of like the soapy Irish spring kind of vibe. Like a fresh cologne soap. Oh my God, it is so strong too. It kind of reminds me, 
God, it reminds me of something I've smelled before. It's like super bergamot and just super. Oh my goodness. So what does Cincy say about it? Lavender with a strong woody background of amber, moss, and musk. It doesn't even say bergamot, but I swear to God, that's what I get. Bergamot, the moss. Okay. Bergamot, moss, and musk. It's, it's all of those. So I get kind of like that zesty bergamot, then I get that oak moss, and then I get musk. No, <laughs> it's not for me. It's super strong on colds. So this is probably gonna blow the doors off. So if you like cologne scents, Simply Irresistible is your bar. Um, per the lavender, I don't really get lavender either. So. It's a very subdued, non-astringent lavender, if it's in there at all. Maybe just like that herbalness, I could get that. Um, but that's simply irresistible. <clears throat> this next one, Summer Rain. Uh, I have had this before. This actually was a scent of the month. I do believe it was... July of 2019, I think this is one of the scents of the month. So I was a consultant then. It's a really nice scent. Um, it's fresh. It's aquatic. It's got a little bit of a green vibe to it. It's nice. Um, there's a cy cyclamen is a note. And I think that's what that green note is, but it's fresh, aquatic, green, almost kind of like spa like it's great for a bathroom it performs really well if you're into like fresh scents it would be perfect for all over your house watery aquatic scents it's nice so it definitely reminds me of not summer rain but it reminds me of kind of like the beach or <clears throat> i keep saying a spa but it reminds me of a spa too <laughs> um Summary, do sprinkled cyclamen, fresh botanicals, and a pinch of black lava salt capture the earthy sweet scent of passing summer storm. It reminds me of a botanical garden. So that's what it, one of the notes, it does. So it reminds me of like kind of that jungly, moist, summer, jungle rain, warm, you get kind of a warmth. I don't, I'm like, I don't know how to explain that, but you do kind of get that. Like, it's not a cooling rain. It's, it's definitely warm and green and fresh. Nice. It's definitely a nice bar. Um, if you like any of those, I definitely suggest picking it up. I think I actually have two bars left from my, from when it was available before. So it is a nice one. Summer rain. <clears throat> All right, we have two bars left, you guys. So next we have Very Peri Pumpkin. And I've heard a lot about this because my sponsor, Lisa, absolutely loves this scent. So every time it would come back, she'd be like, y'all need to vote for Very Peri Pumpkin. And I would because I'm like, it sounds really good. I mean, I don't know. Say it's good. It's interesting. So I don't hate it or anything. <laughs> um, it's definitely interesting. So to me, it smells like a big helping of, it reminds me of Thanksgiving. So it definitely reminds me of fall. Obviously it's pumpkin. So not many pumpkin scents are going to remind me of the summer. But it smells like sweet, like canned pumpkin and yams with a tiny, tiny bit of a sweetness that's kind of like a fruity sweetness from that pear. You definitely get more pear when you smell the bottom, but it smells like a buttery pumpkin yam with a tiny touch of a sweet pear. And the pear is not like cooked pear. It kind of smells like fresh pear. So it's kind of nice. It breaks up like that heavy richness. But it just, it reminds me of a Thanksgiving dish. Like, oh my God, I would love to warm this on Thanksgiving day, like having people over or take it with me wherever I'm having Thanksgiving and pop it in the warmer and be like, y'all, oh my God, it smells so good in here. What did you make? Like it, 
it's kind of nostalgic. Like, I didn't really like yams or sweet potatoes growing up. I love them now. But, like, this is kind of the smells I remember, like, going to aunts and uncles for Thanksgiving or hosting, my parents hosting. Like, you just get, like, this yummy, warm gooey pumpkin yam and then you get this light refreshing tiny pear note it's not it does smell really good so I mean I really like this it's just I don't want to warm it right now um I'm gonna warm a couple I'm gonna warm two pieces to try it out because I want to see like how strong it is the strength and throw um I might um if I don't add it to club for the fall time, I will definitely grab a couple of bars because it's definitely kind of nostalgic and just fun. Um, it's a fun bar. I like it a lot. So she wasn't wrong. It is a good scent. So that's very Perry pumpkin. Um, if you're looking for pear heavy, it's not. So that's very mild in the background. It's more pumpkin yam heavy, definitely a rich scent. So very peri pumpkin. So since he says, sweet nashy pear, freshly picked pumpkin, a tart green apple, toasted spices are carried on a breeze, carried on a breeze of crisp autumn air. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. But also like there's no apple in that. Um, I don't really get toasted spice it's not spice heavy um it's definitely just sweet sweet yam pumpkin creaminess with a little bit of like that fresh pear in the background so nice so last but not least we've got zeppelin which it reminds me of Led Zeppelin, and actually it's a gray color, so it's kind of appropriate. <laughs> um, love me some Led Zeppelin. So this is a cologne scent. But this isn't like a super heavy one, like the Simply Irresistible. I feel like I get like that same bergamot kind of like citrusy note. But it's more lemon so bergamot and lemon and just a freshness i think this there's no real like musk in this to me personally like maybe a tiny bit but simply irresistible felt overwhelming like this is what i want simply irresistible to be um it's nice. It's not overwhelming. It's not overpowering. It doesn't smell like it's going to throw you out of your house. Um, Simply Irresistible reminded me of like Axe and Abercrombie and uh, American Eagle back in like seventh grade when the little boys thought they were so cute and they were just going to spray that stuff on everything and all over themselves. That's what Simply Irresistible smells like. So Zeppelin smells like the older, more sophisticated grown-up version. <laughs> it's definitely nice. So a little more subdued. It's it's sophisticated. So it says, elegant, elegantly balanced citrus and sage, sorrel over sandalwood and vetiver. Yeah, I can definitely get the vetiver. And vetiver is a grounding kind of earthy scent. I really like that. So definitely sandalwood, definitely vetiver and citrus. And then like there's kind of like an herbal note of that sage. It's so it says elegantly. Yeah, this is elegant. This is sophisticated. This is what the Simply Irresistible boys hopefully grow up to be or want to be. This is a really nice manly scent that I could actually get behind. So this is Zeppelin, you guys. That's that's really nice. So definitely a good one for like Father's Day or graduations, your husband, boyfriend, significant other. That's a nice one. So that is the final bar of our 25 June 2022. Bring back my bars, you guys. 
Um, thank you so much for sticking with me for like this last hour. I really do appreciate it. Um, so let me just grab my tops, my top picks from these 25 bars. So if I had to pick a six pack right now, this is mostly on cold snap. So let's see here. Let's grab the ones that I like the best. Um, there are several. I am still like the jury is out. I need to try them for sure. Um, but there is also some that I know that um, I, either I've already tried or I am not going to try because they are not for me. So <clears throat> my tops my six pack would be as follows. So we have for my six pack, these are not in any particular order. This is just the six that I would pick in a six pack right now. Uh, my thoughts may change after I warm them, but I would choose lemon coconut chiffon, cutie pie cupcake, Love you very much. Cotton candy cookie. Blueberry pancakes. And flower child. So that would be my six pack I would choose. I have three runner ups that I would choose after that. So my first would be my only sunshine. Zeppelin, that's saying a lot because I really don't like cooling scents. And then Very Perry Pumpkin, definitely different. <clears throat> so those would be the top nine bars I would choose out of this set of Bring Back My Bars. And once again, thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this video. If you have smelled any of these bars or if you have tried any of these bars, leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorites are. Let me know which ones you don't like. I love hearing from you guys and seeing what thoughts you have on them. Um, it's probably the best part of being a consultant is just, you know, do they bring back any memories for you? It's awesome. So thank you guys so much again. Um, I will see you in the next one and have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.